Dear Mr Hunt, I've just got back from an orthopaedics appointment. Yesterday I had a physiotherapy appointment and I've just returned home to a letter saying that unfortunately my rheumatology appointment tomorrow has had to be cancelled due to the junior doctor's strike. Now, I live with a condition that means I'm in pretty much constant pain. Um, I struggle to mobilise, so I use a wheel walking stick and sometimes a wheelchair. And I've been waiting for this particular appointment for about six months. I was hoping to get some better pain management, and the appointment was hope I was hoping it would make my life a little bit easier for a little bit longer. And yet, I'm not angry that the junior doctors are going on strike and leading to this appointment being cancelled tomorrow. I'm really not. In fact, I'm actually very grateful to them because I know that the main reason they're going out on strike is to protect the safety and the care of patients like me. I'm also really grateful they're going out on strike because I'm about to qualify as a junior doctor. I've been in and around the NHS now for eight years. I trained as a paediatric nurse for three years. I worked uh, in NHS HR and then as a neonatal nurse for another six months. I've just finishing up my fourth year at medical school now and so we'll qualify this summer and those eight years have been amazingly hard in my first degree in nursing my baby brother died halfway through he was 22 months old um, in my medicine degree in my second year my 23 year old brother died nine years after receiving a heart transplant and last year I discovered that a syndrome I'd unwittingly been living with for 27 years um, had reared its ugly head. I ran a half marathon not knowing that it would do me irreparable damage and now I'm disabled and despite a lot of really complex surgery that's not going to get any better anytime soon. And yet in the last eight years and all of that training time I have taken a total of three weeks off. Three weeks, the death of two siblings and the development of a disability and that's all I have taken away from the NHS in order to recover so I could do my job better and I could continue with my training in a better way. I have never doubted that medicine was the right thing for me to do until the last six months. And that's not because I'm scared of qualifying, that's not because I'm scared of working as a doctor. It's because the contract that you have now decided you're going to impose is utterly terrifying for my professional future. There has been no equality impact assessment, so I have no idea what it means for me as a disabled woman who controversially wants to have children. And I'm going into a career where I don't know what my contract's going to look like, I don't know what my hours are really going to look like as a foundation doctor, and I'm not going to get the pay protection that you have made quite a big deal of recently. So I'm asking you, as are many junior doctors across the country, please stop this. Listen. Listen to the future of the profession. Listen to me, listen to my student colleagues, listen to my qualified colleagues. We need you to step back and think about what's actually best for the NHS. A seven day NHS is all well and good if you can actually fund it, but I'm afraid myself and many of my colleagues don't believe that's being thought through. So please, take a step back. Think about what it is you're about to do. Because once the NHS goes, it's gone forever. And so many people, including myself, rely on it. Thanks for listening.